New laws are being planned which could force would-be jihadis into special programs to de-radicalise them. It would also allow police to ban them from using the internet. Political reporter Kerry Yaxley is across the story for us this morning. Kerry, good morning. The federal government is urging all states and territories to introduce these laws. Sylvia, good morning. It's understood that this has come from Victoria Police and is being <coughs> excuse me, considered by the Victorian government. But the Herald Sun reports that the federal government uh, is also keen for all states and territories to look at similar measures. Now, if these plans become law, police could take action against someone who they decide has become radicalised, even if they're not suspected of planning any kind of violence or a plan of planning to become a foreign fighter. Uh, police would have to apply to the Magistrates Court for a community protection intervention order. Now, if that is granted, that person can be banned from things like internet use, uh, have curfews imposed and be forced to report to police regularly. They could even be banned uh, from, restrict or from or uh, restricted in um, associating with certain people. Now, this is being considered in response to recommendations from the report into the Martin Place siege. Uh, and an MP from Victoria, Jason Wood, who is a former counter-terror police officer, uh, has brought this up with the Prime Minister in Canberra last week, Sylvia. All right, Kerry, actually, thank you.